Our Christian who has made a difference is a British lady who went on her own to Hong Kong in 1966 and has been ministering there ever since. Her work has resulted in at least 1,000 drug addicts being saved from their addictions. Her name is Jackie Pullinger. Jackie Pullinger was born in 1944 in Britain. At the age of 15, she graduated from the Royal College of Music, specialising in the oboe. She wanted to be a Christian missionary, telling people about Christianity and God's love for them and encouraging them to become Christian. When she arrived by boat in Hong Kong in 1966, she had no supporting organisation and her only possessions were the clothes she stood in and 100 Hong Kong dollars. Initially, she worked as a primary school teacher in the infamous Kowloon Walled City. That was a slum and the centre for one of the world's largest opium-producing gangs, a triad gang, and there were no police there. She initially lived in fear for her life as she walked about the lanes. She told the inhabitants that God loved them, but she also showed that love in practical ways. She established a youth club to help drug addicts and street sleepers. She provided food, shelter and health care for addicts. She visited prisoners in prison and spoke up for victims of crime. Eventually the situation was transformed and even the drug barons saw the good she did and started watching out for her safety. Her work was formalised by her founding a charity, the St Stephen Society, in 1981. This charity provided rehabilitation homes for recovering drug addicts, prostitutes and gang members. By 2007, it was providing homes for 200 people. The charity's work has been recognised by the Hong Kong government. The government donated the land for the rehabilitation homes. The intervention process that the drug addicts go through is very intensive. Instead of giving them medications, they are put in a room for 10 days and cared for and prayed over by a uh, group of ex-addicts. It's tough, but it works. Jackie Pullinger is still there, and so is the church that grew from her work, but the walled city isn't. It was demolished in 1994, and the inhabitants moved to high-rise accommodation. The St Stephen Society continues to work in Hong Kong, and it serves in other countries in Asia, including the Philippines and Thailand. I've heard Jackie speak in Melbourne about her work. She's an amazing woman and a dedicated Christian, making a difference in Hong Kong and other Asian countries. We salute Jackie Bullinger, a Christian who has made and is making a difference. Christians made.